Hello and uh, welcome everybody to our first live session uh, uh, for the free online courses in Primavera T6, PMP, Risk Analysis and Six Sigma. And today is going to be the first lectures live in our project management Facebook group and also our project management uh, Facebook also page. And you will find all these courses in our YouTube channel, Learn Project Management channel. Okay, let us start. So our courses is going to be in, as you can see on my screen, in P6, PMP, Risk Analysis and Six Sigma. And also we have uh, uh, Arabic classes also on our YouTube channel. If you are interested, you will go to the Arabic uh, uh, playlist and I will explain that. Okay. About me, I am certified PMP, uh, also Six Sigma and Primavera Contract Management and also P6. Uh, ISO 9001, 14, and also 18, and also risk management, and a member of the PMI, American Association of Civil Engineers, and ICE. And here's my contact if you have any problem uh, and you would like to ask in P6, in claims, in anything, you can contact me through my uh, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, through my email and also uh, through the Facebook page, okay? The free online courses is going to be in P6, PMT, Risk and Six Sigma. And if anyone interested to have more courses, uh, let me know and we will uh, uh, help them, okay? As we said that the courses are in the YouTube channel, Learn the Project Management, and also are in Facebook Project Management. Some people are sending some comment. In P6, you will have around 12 lectures, and we already started uh, some of these lectures in our YouTube channel and also in our Facebook. Uh, it will go through from P6 setting, how you do the setting in P6, what is the toolbars, the definition about the project, how to create a project, how to create a WBS, work of breakdown structures, activities details, how to do the link between the activity and the CPM, the critical path method. Okay. We'll explain also the resources and the cash flow, how to do the schedule analysis, claim digger and the extension of time. Good morning everybody. Okay. In PMP, it, it's gonna be also around 12 lectures. We'll explain the PMP guidelines, how to pass the exam from the first time, what are the material uh, uh, required, what are the study plan. And we have already did a, a small lectures in Arabic and also another one in English, how you pass the exam for the guys who are already started uh, 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 preparation for the exam. Six Sigma, so we'll explain how you get certified in Six Sigma, the yellow belt, what are the training, what are the material, everything is online and free, so you can go and study in one day and they get the yellow belt uh, Six Sigma certifications. Also for the risks, we have many lectures in risks. 
will explain some of the software in the market like admin views or print masters and they will explain how you do the risk management plan how you identify the risks how you do the dashboard how to do the follow-up something like that so it's gonna be a huge course in risks and also you can write your comment so we know what you need how we can help you guys it's all free we are giving a hand for all who need help Our objectives is to simplify the educations. We are giving a hand for people that need help. So feel free to communicate, ask any questions. We'll help you guys, sorry. <coughs> to download the software and also you do the work yourself. If you go to our Learn Project Management channel, you will find a playlist in Arabic and English. So if you are interested in English classes, you will find English lectures and you will see all the lecture in Primavera. If you need Arabic, you will find Arabic lecture here. Download the Sharh Al-Ihtiraf in Primavera. And also we are adding another for the Six Sigma and ENP. We have just started. Uh, uh, and anyone need uh, help uh, will help and they will add all the courses okay lecture number one it is gonna be how to download oracle Primavera uh, p6 the latest revision uh, 18.8 and the next lecture is how to install it and do the database configurations and today we're gonna give p6 overview what is p6 because many people don't know what is this program what is the function of the p6 uh, how can i use it and for what purpose if you see right now on my screen here how to download p6 free version okay so if you go to e-delivery.oracle.com, this is a website for Oracle that helping students or personally use how to download the software. Okay. And I will explain this in a minute how you go and download and create your account. Uh, let me know guys if I am fast or uh, give me a comment. I will slow down if you are happy and you see my screen very well. Uh, let me know. Okay. About Primavera P6 Professional. P6 Professional is a planning and control software. So we are using P6 as a professional to do planning and managing your project. Like Microsoft Project or any other software in the market but uh, Primavera is the most famous software okay it is built in Oracle and the Microsoft SQL Silver so you, you have they, they have to have this kind of servers so that to maintain the database locally client applications or they are using the website to host it and it is enterprise wide project management tool okay What is the benefit of Primavera? Primavera P6 Professional enable what? Scheduling the project, how to do the schedule for your project. You can do budgeting also for your project. You can administer and manage many projects. Enterprise means what? Means a big company that have many sections uh, like uh, airport in, uh, project, like infrastructure project, building project. This is called enterprise. It help you manage, manage a shared resources. You can share the resources in different projects and also you can share the responsibility. It help you also uh, control the changes. Okay. P6 history. Uh, we would like to give the history about this program because the people need to understand what is P6. 
Il Magrela P6 started in 1996 with a small company called Eagle Ray Software installed the building a new uh, 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 new building, small building in New York State in America and they have used this software so at this point of time it was a small software, not a, not a big software and here's the time that they have already started in 1999 they released the first uh, function one which I like it, Primavera P3 Primavera Project Planner P3 and this is really was a good uh, software at this point of time, the Gantt chart, activity tables. In uh, 2006, they have released the version number 5. And in 2007, they have released the version number 6. And this is the last version number 6. After that, they give you, by the way, extension like P6 7.1, P6 7.2. So P6 it is fixed. But the releases is gonna be different, up, upgraded like all the company that they are upgrading their car modeling. You have every year a model for your cars. And also here in P6, you're gonna find different revisions. In October 8, 2028, Oracle announced that it had entered into agreement with Primavera to acquire the company. Okay. How can I manage my project? How can I manage my schedule? What I need to do? This is all gonna be with our channel and our page. <clears throat> so if you join the inner project, what you will do? You will go directly and open the software and start working on the software? In fact, no. Before starting anything, you have to plan for it. So you have to go and review the project scope of work, the project drawing, bill of quantities, uh, contract conditions, what are the available resources in the company, time, resources, milestones, project durations, and baseline details. So you will take around one month to sit with the project manager and understand the scope of the project to be able after that when you go to the scheduling of the software that you understand the details and you are familiar with the project and also you are following the contract conditions when you do the schedule because if the schedule do not meet the contract conditions it will be rejected it will not be accepted okay Hope this is clear. If you comment, let me know, guys. Okay. The Mavera P6 structures. What is the structure of the software? Like any structure, if you have a house, you have a foundations, you have a walls, you have a slabs, and then after that, you're gonna do the finishing. In Primavera, you have the highest level. It's called EPS, Enterprise Project Structure. This is a company profile that under this company you will find a lot of uh, companies like I said before uh, airport companies or buildings or highways under the EPS you will find the work breakdown structures what is the work breakdown structure? how to divide your project into more manageable components so if you have a building I would like to divide this building into four or five packages I need a foundation package, I need a wall package, I need a roof, and I need a finishing, and I need a chivac. All of this is called WBS. How to divide the project into more manageable components. I hope this is easy uh, and you understand it. And if you have any questions, you can send your comment. Okay. Organizational breakdown structures, OPS. This is, the, the, uh, this is the, the structure of the company, the organizational chart of the company. It will include all the, uh, the staff of the company, from the top manager uh, to the engineers, the foreman, and project, everyone, everyone. Why we need that? Because after that, we're going to assign responsibilities for each project or each WBS. I would like to know 
that this project manager Muhammad or Ali is responsible for this package and I would like to know the status of this package. It is delayed ahead of time here or not. User defined field. What is a user defined field? P6 allowing you guys to add user defined field. I would like to add something that is not in P6 so I can go and add by the way some highlights or some stars or something like that so that I will be familiar with it. Here's a sample of the WBS. It shows here simple project from the first level as you can see here and it goes to level two and level three and level four. So you have to organize your WS into levels, okay? Based on the details that you're gonna do in your project. One, two, three, four levels is, is, is good. And more than this is gonna be more details and we'll explain that in our following session. After you create the WBS, you're gonna create the activities, okay? By the way, the foundation package, I will divide it into excavations, uh, into a uh, uh, formal work, rebar, and pour concrete. So this is the lowest level of details in HWBS. Activities, relationships. Okay, how you tie your activity? I need to do uh, uh, the excavation first, and after that I will do the formal work, and after that I will do the rebar, and after that I will do the concrete. So this is called the relationship, how you tie the sequence of your activities. Leads and lags, we'll explain this in the first lectures on the live software because our classes is going to be on the live software. So it's not going to be academic course, it's going to be a live software so that everybody will know how to use the software, uh, how to uh, manage it. Because many pe people got some classes and when you go to the software they will not be able to do anything so our intention no our intention is to let people do the work themselves very easy and they will provide you the material will help you downloading the software and uh, uh, will help you also will give you support uh, for any function you need okay p6 effectively allocate five limited resources so in p6 you can allocate uh, and sources like time, money, equipment, personnel, and material. Okay, if anyone has a problem with the English translations, uh, we'll help you guys and adding Arabic translations. And also in our uh, YouTube channel, you will find uh, uh, Arabic courses only. Also, okay. Okay, Primavera P6, uh, the critical path method CPM is a project management techniques for scheduling that define critical and non-critical tasks. So why I use a P6? I need to know what critical and what non-critical uh, activities in the, in the project. How this help me? I need to focus on the critical activities because any delays in these critical activities, it will delay the project. Uh, anyone please who need Arabic uh, uh, sessions, uh, let us know and uh, we have also uh, Arabic courses in our channel. And if you like me to talk in Arabic, I can do this after that. But today is it is English session. The critical path is the chain of activity from the start to the project to the finish that has the least amount of flow. So the critical path is goes from the start and to the end of the project and has the activities that has a latest flow or zero flow. Any delays to these activities will delay the project. This is very important and the guys who are going for PMP exam or any other exam. This is very critical questions 
and they will have this kind of question when you go to the exam. Critical path. This is just a small model uh, how to do the critical path and it's gonna be in red like that it will go from the start to the end uh, uh, this is just illustrations how the critical path looks like and we will show you a mo complete model of the critical path in our following classes technical term used in cpm is scheduling in CBM, you have activities, you have early start. Each activity has uh, around four uh, dates, early start and late start. So early start like uh, uh, ES and early finish like AF. All this kind of terminology, why you are using this kind of four dates to help us analyze the fluid. Because if you plan, by the way, to go to, from Mansoura to Cairo at 7 o'clock, and you have an appointment in Cairo at 10, Okay, if I go at 7, I can reach at 9. If I go at 8, I will uh, arrive at 10. Okay, so I have a one hour flow. One hour, if I delay in this one hour, but I will, uh, I will, I will arrive on time. But if you plan and go after 8 o'clock, you will arrive late and you will miss your appointment. So it is much better for understanding what is the amount of flow. So what is the amount of flow? Each activity they have what's called predecessors and successors. So each activity they should have at least one predecessor and one successor. The predecessor that is the activity that you're gonna do before, and the successor that this is the activity that you're gonna do later on. So if you have, by the way, excavations, you should have predecessor like a survey. And after that, you should have a successor like form work or rebars or something like that. Okay. NP6 also will help you guys to do the resource allocations and the resource histograms. You, you, I will uh, teach you guys how you do it in P6 and how you do it in Excel, how you export it from Primavera into Excel, and, and you can do this kind of ties. And also the fluid path analysis and how to build the baseline also. I hope the screen is clear and uh, my voice is clear and you can hear me very well. Cash flow. When you allocate all the resources in P6, you will be able to draw the cash flow even in P6 or you export your number into Excel and you draw your cash flow, which you're gonna have the plan curve and the actual curve and the forecasted curve. And it's gonna help you guys to know the delays. If you if you are behind the plans, okay, it's gonna show you that that you are behind the plans, and this is gonna be very easy. And we will explain that in the next lecture. Also, we'll continue the analysis in P6. You will have the schedule analysis, performance KPIs, key performance matrices, and this is very important for the guys who are asking about earned value. We have added uh, earned value lectures in our channels. You can go and review all the KPIs for the time being, but I will explain this also in detail next time. What are the KPIs like uh, SCPI or CPI, the schedule? performance index or the uh, cost performance indexes uh, and this is show you the status of your project are you hit behind or track and this is very really important and we're gonna have around six lectures in earned value uh, resolving constraints also resolving the out of sequence and the earned value that we have talking about it okay in P6, you know, this software is very huge software and there's many tricks and tips and many problems. So we'll continue our support when anyone has a problem, downloading the software or installing the software or doing an extension of time, something like that. We'll continue our support and all for free and just we need you that you remember us 
and subscribe to our channel to reach to everybody who needs help and who cannot afford paying high prices courses. The intention here is to simplify the life, make uh, the project management really easy and accessible to everybody and everyone can learn and do the work. Also, we'll give you a template from the international companies uh, uh, system so that you will be familiar with American British companies. Also, we have published uh, uh, lectures that help people at searching world, how searching jobs, how to search for jobs, how to apply for jobs, and what needs to be done. So we will continue sharing that. And also, we're going to have a complete course in risk management in Acumen Fuse software. And I will show you this uh, later on. Extension of time, claims. This is very advanced level, and this is gonna be in the next levels, how you do the extension of time, what method yeah, I should use, and how I can do that, and with also a complete modeling from the current project, so that you can see a practical model, how the expert or technical people are doing the extension of time. Also P6 sitting, how you do the sitting in P6, and also the claim digger and the schedule analyzer. Okay, let's let us start now. Oh, missing is here. Uh, how to download the software? So to download the software, you have to go to Oracle Delivery dot org. The one on my screen right now. Here. Can you see it, guys? <coughs> Okay, so let me go now and look how can I switch to my web page. Okay, how can I do that? Okay. Uh, to go and, and show you guys the, the screen how to uh, uh, download the software, I think I have to refresh my screen or to start the uh, next live sessions. So I'm gonna start right now, just give me a minute. Hello everybody again. And Hello. So we're gonna start right now, show you guys how you download the software. So this is the second part. I'm not able to uh, change the source. Okay, so you have to go to the oraclelivery.com uh, Okay, and then Let me see if anybody here Okay, so to download the software, you have to go to oraclelivery.com. Uh, uh, this is from a Vera, uh, from a Vera Oracle uh, root page, okay? And you create an account, okay? So one, how to create an account? Let me show you guys how to create an account. One minute. So you have to add your email address, the password, uh, retype the password, 
some guys asking who is the lecturer. Let's try to try this guy here. Okay, so you have to add your email address, password, retype the password, and add your country, your name, job titles, uh, work numbers. If you have a number, if you would like to mention your company, you can. You add your address, your city, states, and zip code. Okay, once you add all of that, so you will get an email with confirmation that you have an account. Give me sign in. Okay. Again. A delivery. Sign in. Okay, so once you sign in, you will get this page here in front of you. Okay. Hope you can see my screen. And you will find here on the left side Oracle Group, Oracle Software Delivery. And also here you will find all category, all category on the left side. What I'm gonna do, I'm, I will go. Primavera T6 Professional The first one here And I would like to download to download uh, the latest revision latest revision in Primavera T6 version 80 Okay some guys are asking where is the uh, lecture. Okay, join us on project management page. Okay, so I will go and choose the latest revision here, which is release 18.8. Once you choose that, you will find here the Yuka. You car okay, so I will go and do check out. Once you do check out, you will get here. Here's a program Primavera P6 Professional Management 18.8, and here's the software itself, and here's the documentations the document that you will have with your software. Okay. If you look here is a term and restriction, Oracle standard term and restriction. This is for the people who are looking to use it for personal use, education. It is not for business. So it is a free revision. Okay, and it's gonna be under Microsoft. Here's the size 292 megabyte. And this release is published in uh, August 6, 2018. So this is the last revision in August 2018. After that, what we will do, we'll go continue. Okay. So continue here. It's going to give you the Oracle standard term and restrictions. If you have time to read all of that, that's good. Let me see if the people are seeing my screen very well. Okay, good. If you have time to read all uh, these uh, informations, okay, you can go and read all of that. But this is all means that this is for personal use and you're gonna use it for educations and you will be able to download. So we have to go to accept. Uh, I accept the term and uh, of license agreement. So you have to accept terms and the license agreement. And after that, you may continue. Let me close the survey here. Survey. 
So once you do continue, you will get all these uh, files uh, v97 project management and his 1916 uh, 169 megabyte and you have here the database setup the api the project management documentations and primavera uh, p6 professional documentation also so you should have good internet to be able to download this around 300 megabyte files if you would like only to download the p6 application the first one it is 169.5 uh, megabyte and you can download this also but i prefer you download everything so that you can read and if you don't understand will help you guys to understand and after that you will make download okay and you choose your folder here Okay, and you will download all your software. So this is very easy step. How to go to Oracle Primavera P6 website and you download the latest revision of Primavera P6 and you will have it in your system. And next time we will go and explain guys how to uh, install it in your, in your computer. If you have any problem, let us know. And also, we'll help you and give you support you needed. Thanks so much for watching today. And feel free to subscribe to our uh, learning management uh, YouTube channel, the free channel, the one I, I will share on my screen right now. So in our uh, project management uh, learn uh, uh, channel, the one in front of you, if you go by playlist here, you will find the Arabic lectures, all the lectures that we have added so far. I will open it here. And you will find all the courses that we have added and also how to download the software in Arabic for the guys who are interested in Arabic only. If you go back and you need the English classes, you will find all the English classes here and also how to download the, the software, how to do the earned value and around three lectures that we have started so far and we will continue and we'll add all the courses so it is very easy and also we have added some lectures for the six sigma the guys who are interested in six sigma here i have added six sigma overview and also how to pass the pmp exam in english and in arabic so you will have everything and we, we just started in the last february so and with the help of engineer saeed who is managing the project management page we're gonna do every Saturday this time a live class and after that we will upload all the videos here so you will have the videos everywhere and we'll help you guys managing and be an expert and we'll show you all the file our Google Drive with the template I hope that you like it all and enjoy it and thanks so much for watching and see you next Saturday bye bye Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh